All right. <clears throat> so people are having problems installing Titan in Windows, so I'm gonna make a tutorial. I'm gonna build it from source in this tutorial because the latest release, 150, was on 16th of July and we're end of December now and it's 80 comments by master. So it's pretty outdated. But we can still build from source, which is 100% no problem. So before we start uh, cloning and stuff, we should install the .NET Framework 461 and higher. And we're going to build. So we need Visual Studio 2017 and Visual Studio 2017 build tools. Uh, also, an uh, editor like Notepad++ and Git or something that I suggest you guys are using. First, we're going to open a new Git window. Copy and paste this command and put it in here so it's close. Right. Next, most window, uh, most systems don't have PowerShell enabled, so we need to go up here and set the execution policy to unrestricted. Confirm this with uh, yes, and we're good to go. To close this window. Open the Titan folder, shift and right click, and open a PowerShell window here. Next, we can just type build.ps1 and a cake, which stands for C sharp make, is going to build Titan for us. It's going to take a bit, but don't have to worry about that one. As you can see here, following the build steps is described here in the repo. All right, so we can see up here build succeeded. And if you can't build it, you probably don't have Visual Studio 2017 with the .NET desktop development tools and the Visual Studio build tools installed. But um, if everything works, you're gonna see here, green output, everything, and on the build, it should say build succeeded. So we can close this window now. Okay, after we've built successful, we can just Go into the Titan directory into bin and release. The important thing right now is that if you used an older version of Titan, you would need to create an accounts chase now. You can read on the wiki how to do that and stuff, but the newer Titan version got an account manager, and so you no longer need to create that. So you can just double click Titan and we'll open this uh, two windows here. As you can see here, Titan requires a Steam Web API key, so you just put your API key inside there. I'm not going to do that because I'm not logged in on this virtual machine and I'm not going to show it publicly on video and stuff, but please put your Steam Web API key in there or else Titan is not going to work and crash as soon as you try to comment or report. So then you click on the account step here and you can Add your accounts before you can click the other tabs, you know. You can just go like bot account one and bot password one one one. You can just add it. So we can see successfully added account. And the account is now added. Alright. So now we can go to the report tabs. Uh select our index if we want to use all the accounts or not. Put the Steam ID in here comment and to get the steam id you just go to steam io it should be easy to clickable so we go just to steam io you can pretty much search for everything like i know for my main account and the nice thing with titan is that it works with all three ids so it doesn't really matter which one you copy to clipboard so we can just put it in here by, by the way, the same. You can just click comment. We see it was unable to connect the scene because the password is invalid, you know. So it's going to retry this five times before 
actually shutting down. But everything else should pretty much work normally if you got your actual bots in there and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching the Titan tutorial. A nice thing to know is, by the way, when you close Titan, you're gonna see that Titan will run, will continue to run in the background, it will notify you as soon as victims got banned. And that is pretty much the case for Titan. So, if you want to actually close it, you can just go here and right click it and click, for example, show, or you can directly click exit. I can click here on file and then exit, and that's gonna shut down Titan. Alright, thanks for watching Titan tutorial. See you next time.